Hi everyone. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Let me know if the music's too loud. I haven't quite figured all that out yet. But I hope everybody's having a great evening. We I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Just, just let me know if you can hear me okay, and then I can make the necessary adjustments. I don't want to get too far into my conversation and then everybody like, I can't hear you. <laughs> So glad you could be here, JT. Sorry for your loss, man. And like I said, if you can let me know if you hear me okay, if the music's too loud, I'd appreciate it. I, I don't know if you can hear me or not. So everything seems to be working, but I've been having some technical issues. If I need to get closer to the mic, whatever the case might be, just let me know. <laughs> but hello, everybody. Let's see. I was going to give an introduction to my character, but... check mm -hmm. let's get all the paints out first I need to freeze these armrests sorry for the squeaky get my white out I'm oh my goodness I need to build up my strength just to open up <laughs> thing of white paint. Here we go. I need to double check something else. Oh, oh no. There we go. Okay, so yes, it is time for another character crossover, guys. I I did one last week. You guys were with me. If you're new here, I'm just kind of going through this character crossover phase. I, I've actually been doing it for um, a year or so now, but I started doing them live and kind of having the community uh, interacting with me actually helping me out you guys were awesome with my indiana jones um stargate crossover oh no my black is leaking i have bursted a seam oh no that's not good that means i've got to transfer all of this to another container else the oh that's just what i need with one of my most powerful paints as well my lamp black oh that's just disturbing it's gonna get everywhere oh well anyway character crossovers guys so i did end up selling my indiana jones stargate crossover painting which you know i'm a little bit saddened by just because it turned out so beautifully and everybody helped out with that giving me some pointers that was fantastic but i'm glad it's going to a good home for sure but tonight, we are doing probably the most unlikely pairing one could think of. I did ask in the community, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure that you are. Be a, become a part of the community, and uh, sometimes I post polls and questions and get your insight to my next art pieces. And I asked about character crossovers, and you guys gave me a bunch of amazing ideas. It was really hard to pick from that but somebody did suggest Winnie the Pooh 
and Batman. And I, for kicks, have included Tigger. And uh, I'm just going to keep it a secret for now as to who he is supposed to represent, who he's supposed to transform into um, <laughs> in this series here. We're going to work on Winnie the Pooh here firstly. Pooh Bat, Bat Pooh, like it just, when you have a name like Pooh, what are you going to do? What, what, how are you going to salvage that for real though? So let's see here get my brush that's gonna be the foundation if we remember from like a previous paintings we just lay down the first colors and they usually don't look that fantastic uh, I'm not really sure how cartoony I'm gonna go with this I I might change gears and try to make this look a little bit more more like CGI animated not necessarily realistic but not as quite as cartoony as the cartoon We'll see. We're up for an adventure. We'll just go with it. And of course, please be sure to uh, like the video. That would be greatly appreciated. Here we go. And uh, yeah, here we're going to get started. Lay down the foundation. And if you want to find ways to support the channel, you absolutely can in the description box. Or there's a link pinned in the chat if you want to help support the channel. I, I appreciate everybody who's here and uh, just comes and talks with me. Or just watches and, and listens. Here we go. So this is actually perfect because of the fact that... Um, and Dimash and I, I just want to say thank you for being here. You said hello and I try to say hello back. My, I was trying to get so much done. I wasn't trying to just generalize you or ignore you. Um, sir, I'm glad that you're here. Uh, but this, this is funny, this painting. Now that I think about it, it's actually combining two of my some of my favorite characters right so Winnie the Pooh is actually my favorite children's classic stories like he's not my favorite character Eeyore is my favorite character but I have been listening to the Winnie the Pooh audiobooks ever since I was about six years old yeah it's been it's been a while <laughs> I ain't no spring chicken, you know? And um, so I, I remember, it was funny, we went to some, I didn't grow up here in the States for those that don't know. And um, the country that we were in, we were in the military as a family. And um, it wasn't, it was the BX I think, or it was something similar to Costco. I don't think it was the BX. And they had cassette tapes will tell you how old I am and uh, maybe a little bit they had cassette tapes in different volumes with little books that accompanied the cassettes of Winnie the Pooh and through the years my mom got me the different sets and I listened to those things over and over and over again they actually helped me fall asleep and then as I got older I started really listening to the stories and let me tell you okay there is a lot of sass in the Winnie the Pooh series, especially from Eeyore, who is my favorite character. I could almost tell you every story frontwards and backwards for the most part. A read along says Furby Slayer. Hello, Furby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Furbies. Oh, take me back. Take me back to the early 2000s. Oh my gosh, Furby. But uh, yeah, it was like a read along, but it didn't. Ha it wasn't the kind that had the little chime. You guys remember that? You know, you, that would let you know you need to turn the page. It was just little tiny hardcover books that came along with the cassettes. It was just wonderful. And actually, to this day, like I said, so I got the stories on Audible, and I still listen to them. And like I said, I, I can tell you frontwards and backwards. Now this is going to be. Gen X? Actually, I am not a Gen X. I'm not a Gen X. I'm actually older than what most people think. Not by much, but... Uh, move up a, a letter. <laughs> hey, Backyard Tardis. Welcome. So we are doing another character crossover. We are merging, with the help of the community, we are merging the Dark Knight with Winnie the Pooh. Pooh! If you didn't know, whose name is actually Edward Bear. Christopher Robin gave him this name. 
and it was actually the name he had for a swan. He used to have a swan, and he changed Pooh's name. Fun fact. <laughs> so we're mixing Batman with Winnie the Pooh, and I am also incorporating Tigger over here, and I'm going to leave it a little bit of a mystery as to who he's going to be until we move further along in the painting. So, as I said before, I'm not exactly sure how realistic I'm going to try to make Pooh. I might try to make him look a little more CGI animated rather than cartoony. But first, <clears throat> we're just laying down <laughs> the terror that fluffs in the night. That's awesome. I had a Gremlins read-along with a 45-inch. That's how old I am. Oh, there you go. Gremlins. Oh my gosh. Don't feed them after midnight. So we're just going to put down our first layer, like I always say, and just kind of see where life takes us with this. Um, as always, I'm just kind of winging it, guys. We're just going to let the instincts and the talents kind of come out, come to fruition. Trial and error. The first layer never looks that great. Um, or sometimes it very rarely, let me put it to you this way, very rarely does. But yeah, I wanted to also, I tend to do a lot of paintings with green and blue because these are my favorite colors. <laughs> and so I thought it would be fun to really try to use my yellow. I don't use my yellow paint that often. So yeah, I thought I would give that a try. Should be fun. I don't have a lot of experience with, like I said, with, with using yellows. So learning how to shade this properly will be super intriguing. And uh, separating the night sky from Pooh's outfit here should be very intriguing as well. But uh, <laughs> I'll be definitely, once this project's over, um, I've got some other stuff in the works, but I'm definitely going to be reaching out to you guys in the community tab and uh, asking you for some more character crossovers. If that's something that you like, I, I think this is fun. What do you guys think? Do you enjoy um, character crossovers? Um, you want me to try to do something else? Give me some ideas, uh, something to think about, because it does take me a little while to ponder and, and try to get everything together. I just traced out all this or, or drew all this out um, today, rather. <laughs> it's going to look, he has a beard. It's going to be interesting. I have to remember, he's going to have a mouth, so he'll have a bright spot later. But yeah, it takes a, a lot of thought to figure out. All right. Supposed to blend on the canvas, they say. So that's, that's what we're trying. But I hope everybody had a great day. Um, mine's been busy. Been really busy. If you guys don't know, I also do um, movie reviews on a channel called Inside the Booth. And uh, I do quite a bit of video editing over there. Just released a video over there our reaction to we're a little bit behind but our reaction to the wakanda forever trailer um i know there's a lot of like controversy on twitter where you can also follow me there at dreaming tabitha but there's a lot of like controversy as to how the story's gonna go and is it appropriate the different things that they've decided to do Oh, I don't know all that stuff. I'm just looking at the trailer and well, if you want to know what I thought, you can always hop over there or inside the booth. I will say the costumes look great, I think. But just because you have awesome costumes doesn't mean the storyline is going to be that fantastic. This is going to be an interesting painting. What do you
you guys think? I'm doing a superhero right now, but I mean, like, are we over superhero movies? Do we need to do something else? In, in, in fact, what do you think is going to be the next move? Like, what's going to be the next big thing? You know, Marvel movies, DC movies. We've been doing this for a decade or more. What's next? Are we done with that? Do we want more of it? Or do we need to find something else? Um, hi, likes. Uh, Mike likes tacos. Ah, yes. Winnie the Bat or a uh, Bat. <laughs> exactly. We were, we were, I was just saying that, like, what we don't call this creature. Fluff in the night. Edward Bear, known to his friends as Winnie the Pooh. My favorite story, I think. I have, I probably have, oh, gosh, it's so hard. I love Winnie the Pooh. But the OG Winnie the Pooh. I'm honestly not a huge fan of the Disney Winnie the Pooh ever since I got into the, the traditional A.A. Milne ones. But my favorite stories would have to be in which Piglet is entirely surrounded by water, in which Eeyore has a birthday and gets two presents because the sass really comes out on that one. I love it. And then um, in which Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, oh, I got the title wrong. Shoot. Now I can't remember what it is. Here I am bragging about my knowledge. Uh, but Winnie the Pooh and Piglet attempt to catch a woozle. Winnie the Pooh and Piglet do something and nearly catch a woozle. And I can't remember where the other one is. Um, I don't know, but Hollywood needs to keep their filthy mitts off of the anime, says Dimash and I. You know, so guys, okay. I, I have been really hesitant to give anime a try. But I'm hearing everywhere anime is the way to go. All right. Where should I start? I'm total noob here, okay? Like, does Dragon Ball Z or Sailor Moon count as anime? I've only ever seen Dragon Ball Z in German, but it looked freaking amazing. Should I watch that? Is it worth watching in English? Is that anime? Um, Sailor Moon. I got it on DVD for my birthday a couple of years ago for my brother, but I never really watched a lot of it. Like, where, where should I start with anime? Like, what do you think? For somebody who's totally new to the franchise, the genre, whatever it is. Where should I start? Let's see. Uh, Celebrity Jeremy says, when the bad guys hear from the shadows, oh, bother. <laughs> oh, bother. <laughs> That's good. Uh, genre actually doesn't matter so much as authentic efforts to, yeah, to entertain or tell stories. Hey, guys. Hey, memes. Superhero. Hey, another superhero, but in word form. And it's Tim. I'm convinced Winnie would be on the dark side, especially if Winnie's honey went missing. It's very possible. You know, he, he can get pretty snippy. He can get pretty hangry in the books. Um, let's see here. I gotta catch up with great classics. We need to go get justice from those honeybees. Dark Dread Saber Phil, hello. But yeah, if you guys know, like, if you're into anime and you think I need to get into it and give it a try, like, where should I start? Like, what? I don't know. I want to be like the cool kids, okay? I want to be like the good kids. Dragon Ball Z is good, but Dragon Ball is the beginning of that story. Okay. Well, then I guess that's the place to start, right? At the beginning. So, is Piglet Rob Pig... <laughs> Piglet is not going to be featured in here. Now, I cannot stand the Piglet from... We're going to start right here. I cannot stand the Piglet from the Disney Winnie the Pooh. Oh my goodness, but he's awesome. In the books. Now, what's really cool, and you guys, you're a bunch of dudes, so you probably don't care couldn't give too far things and i'm just gonna say this okay like being a female nerd over here and uh having strong maternal instincts planning for the future like i i saw talk about the, one of the most amazing character crossovers for tabitha is that i saw somebody did a nursery a baby's nursery in star wars and winnie the pooh crossover so christopher robin was han solo and Piglet was R2-D2, or R2-D2 was Piglet. Eeyore was an AT... Was it an AT-ST or AT-AT? AT-AT. Um, 
Winnie the Pooh, or Chewbacca was Winnie the Pooh. And I forget some of the other ones, but it was the best thing ever. And I'm like, yes, okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, whoever made this, they get us. They, the girls want to be nerds too, but they still want to be cutesy. Let's see. Gosh, people are saying stuff. OG Dragon Ball is a good place. I first watched Curse of the Blood Rupees. Dragon Ball movie. Okay. Bat Bear. They don't call Batman Bat Bruce because that would give him away. Hello, Matthew Phoenix. Phoenix. Does the Pooh horror flick in? No, absolutely not. For uh, Furby Slayer. Absolutely not. I, I am actually very bothered by that. I think it's bastardization and inappropriate to the kid. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I hate, honestly, people taking wholesome, innocent things and twisting it into dark themes, adult themes. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm not sure, you know, and, and I'm not trying to be hateful towards anybody. You know, you like what you like, okay? You like what you like, but I don't understand this affinity that adults have with taking kids' cartoons and making them like R-rated stuff. I don't understand that. What, what in the world is that all about? There's a reason we fall in love with these things, and it ain't because there's horror and drugs and sexual activity. I don't think uh, it's not there in the beginning. There's so much anime out there, it's hard to give a good start. But yeah, Dragon Ball is good. Okay, Dimajanai says, excellent. Then that's where I'll start since I already have a huge interest in it. And uh, I enjoyed what I saw in German. <laughs> I thought Christopher Robin was good with Obi-Wan. Ah, uh, you could do a Jedi Eeyore all. You know, I think Eeyore would be a Sith. Just because he's sad that nobody gives him the time of day. Not because he's actually evil. <laughs> Just a little bit salty. A little bit bitter. That's all. Okay. So we're going to make... We're going to make uh, Winnie, Winnie the Pooh here. Whatever his name is. We're going to make him blue. And we'll, we'll get much darker um, as this progresses. But again, these are just foundation layers. We'll be doing this for a couple of days, guys. So... Thank you for being here. Again, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. It's almost the weekend, guys. It's almost the weekend. I've got some plans tomorrow. I'm gonna meet a friend that I haven't seen in a while. We're gonna grab some coffee. I might actually do some filming. So like if you follow my channel, if you're subscribed and get the notifications, or you just look around, you'll see that I also try to do some like artwork. Um, travel videos right and um i'm gonna go to a local coffee shop and then go to the park and see if i can find something interesting there to draw because there's just i'm trying to find you know beauty all is all around us i've gone to some some different states and things like that and done some drawing but I'm also trying to challenge myself and be like you know i don't have to go to florida and georgia and virginia to find interesting places. What if I just take a look around me? So, that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Is that Darth Wing Poo? <laughs> Dark Wing Duck, what a great, man, what a great cartoon. I am the terror that flaps in the night. Now, I think that would be awesome as a live, uh, no, no, excuse me, not a live action, but a CGI cartoon, if they did it right, man, that would be cool, right? I like that. I like that show. Okay. All right, don't overblend. Make sure there's some highlights here. Dragon Ball Z. I'm excited. I might do that Saturday. I don't think I've got anything going on Saturday morning. Maybe hit up some Dragon Ball Z. I think it might be on Hulu, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> what do we think of this first layer, guys? It's kind of funny, isn't it? Kind of cute, kind of funny. 
I'm already overworking the paint a little too much, so I need to I need to calm down. I need to calm down. Let's get dangerous. <laughs> when there's trouble, you call DW. That's right. Darkwing Duck. Love it. With Goslin and launch Launchpad. Who doesn't love some Launchpad, right? Like Ducktales. I love it. I like when he was like, "Man, and I, I landed that thing on a dime." He's like, "Well, not an actual dime. If it was like, he's like maybe a quarter, you know." <laughs> Watch that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Launchpad McQuack. Okay, all right. Gotta make him. Does he drive a honey pot around the hundred acre wood? Asks Mike like toxic likes tacos. You know, we might never know. We'll have to think about that. Because we really don't want to call it the Poo Mobile. That just sounds like a septic company, doesn't it? That's that's not cool. Okay, we've got some good highlights and things like that. I'm gonna definitely reserve the lamp black for a little bit. Cause once that gets on here, it's really gonna take over and I, I wanna be extra careful. We're just kind of work working our way downtown. All right. Oh man, okay. So I'm excited about some of the clothing that we're gonna do, like this cape. If you guys haven't seen um, my other character crossover where I did uh, Gina Carano as Elizabeth Bennett, that's how I got my first start with oil painting and the dress. Oh my gosh. This paint was such a game changer when it came to creating texture. And so I'm excited. Oh, look, that white, I just added a smidge of white. I'm so happy. It's not perfect, but I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Here's the reason why. Jesus took my burdens all away. You gotta be careful here. I really don't want any green to start developing. So, let's see. Oh, Rescue Rangers, Chip and Dale. Yeah, Dread Saber Phil. Absolutely. Chip, chip, chip and Dale. Rescue Rangers. When there's danger. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Monterey Jack and Gadget. You can't help yourself. Like. Good times, good times. I know they tried to remake Chip and Dale, didn't they? Did that go over well? I never watched it. I just like, if it ain't broke, why fix it? Just stick with my originals. I actually have them. And Tailspin? Did you guys ever watch Tailspin? With Baloo the Bear. And Kip. Dude, we just had some of the best cartoons. <laughs> we just went OG. Yeah, good stuff, man. Thank you again, everybody, for stopping by. You make my night. When, when you come by and say hello. I appreciate it. I really do. Alright. Oh, I'm getting a little out of, out of touch here. <laughs> Disney's policy is if it ain't broke, remake it. Yes. Celebrity Jeremy. Ain't that the truth? Alright, he's starting to look kind of like a dog or something. Am I right? Like, what? I think these aren't sharp enough. Something, something wrong here, uh, in the words of Goofy. I mean, I know, I'm not supposed to judge it till it's finished. I know, I follow my own rules. I'm like, something wrong. I'll make the necess necessary adjustments. Oh, guys, speaking of Disney classics and, and the wonder that was Disney back in the day. Gosh, can you believe that Angela Lansbury 
man, she finally, she finally passed away. Dude, that's awful. I mean, it's, it is and it's not. She lived a fantastic, well, I assume she lived a fantastic life, but she, you know, she made it, like, she, she almost made it a century, guys. Could you imagine? Could you imagine living a century? I couldn't, I can't fathom that. And what a wholesome lady, for real, though. I was listening to some stuff that she was saying and talking about kids and how we need to protect children and that was before all this nonsense that's going on in the world and i just like oh oh jesus taking all the good ones celebrities jeremy said i thought she had died a while ago yeah you know you you kind of think that she did because she just kind of disappeared right she just kind of fell off the map i'm gonna assume she just kind of retired right but then when you find out that they don't, I'm like, oh man, they're still alive. And then you find out they're not because they're, they died. Somebody said the ears need to be a little bit longer. That might be the case. I'm going to wait a little bit uh, to, to try that. Because you never know. It might come together in the end. And I, I don't want to risk uh, ruining it. Here we go. Get some more dark blue. We're just going to continue with this cape. The fold right here. Man, if I... Okay. Alright. I am i don't know that I'll do this. I'm really reaching, but I just had, like, this thought pop into my head. If I were to do a character crossover with the Master Chief from Halo... Dude. Like, what would we do? <laughs> Something in Alice in Wonderland? That's, like, the first thing that comes to mind. I don't know. Throw me some ideas, guys. What do you think? Master Chief... Crossed over with. I don't know. Like Halo Master Chief? Yes. From Halo franchise. What an awesome, awesome game. I never finished the storyline, but I played quite a few of the games. Super fun. I, I, I plan to one day make the. I don't have the right name. Look, I'm one of those people where I love games, I love movies, I love TV shows. I don't remember every little detail about it. So I don't know if you want to dub me as not hardcore, casual fan. I'm a huge fan of many franchises. I just don't remember everything, right? So that being said, the laser sword or whatever that crystal laser sword, the glowy one, I want to make that one day. The Mad Hatter Master Chief. <laughs> The Mad Master? Hmm. The Master Hatter? But I don't know, guys. That would be kind of cool, right? Master Chief is something. Alright, let's see. There it is. Oh, you guys can't see that. I apologize. I'm down here working on this detail. It's kind of hard to keep track of everything. Here we go. Does anybody remember Free Willy? Or like Flipper? Or am I the only person left on God's Earth that remembers these movies? <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day. Like, what? in the world these movies and it's i think it's amazing that you know we all come from different walks of life different parts of the world different parts of the country and like movies can they used to really bring people together i don't know why we need to be all broken about films and things like that you know at its core it's all make-believe you know unless it's based on a true story or something but like man movies and stuff used to bring us together i mean look at this now we're talking about i was gonna say rice krispy treats <laughs> rescue rangers batman all this stuff like let's let's let let's make that popular again let's bring that kind of culture back be fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
she chief or well i guess they kind of did that already <laughs> grew up on Fri uh, flipper remember free willie says rogue squad garage hello welcome don't check twitter all oh, memes what have you done I am totally that girl that when you tell them not to do it, I'm like instantly suspicious. I'm like, what? What is it? Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> Veggie Tales Combat Evolved. <laughs> you want me to cross the Master Chief with Veggie Tales? Is that what I'm understanding? Hilarious. You guys. Oh my gosh, you guys are funny. Dimajana is involved. Oh my gosh, what did you guys do? Please don't tell me you put my head like on top of some woman. Some like provocative woman on top of a car or something like that. I, I, no. I don't know. I don't know why that's the first thing that came to mind. I'm sorry if that is disparaging of your character. Like if if that's like, I don't associate you with that. It's just like when people tell me that it's the internet, I like that is a fear that I have. I told R2 the Icky, one of my internet friends, I'm like, I had nightmares that one day you were gonna, not, not necessarily that kind of picture, but that you were gonna do something like that. You were gonna take me and put me on something absolutely humiliating. <laughs> he, he's not, he's been a really great guy about that. He's like, it may actually made me feel bad. He's like, uh, I, like, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> just, just afraid. That's all. Might be a little sensitive. You know, I'm on the internet. I gotta, I gotta grow a thicker shell. Apparently. At the same time, people tell me don't change. I'm like, okay, all right. Only if it's for the good, right? Okay, we've got a foundation going. Got a foundation going. Do I often model on vehicles? No. <laughs> I don't. I never. Not at all. No. I I went to school to be a photographer. I, I don't model. I don't know how to smile. I, I've learned sort of a little bit. But I am better um, I'm better working with people like taking pictures of people than um, doing it myself. You know, I've had those wonderful and sweet people like, oh, you should be a model. And they're like, yeah, no. No, I don't have enough self-confidence for that. <laughs> it's just not my thing. I like to make art, but not that way. We, to each their own. It's not me. All right, I'm going to be figuring out these ears in some, some way. All right. Yeah, that's a little bit messy. Doesn't really look like that fake leather. I think Winnie the Pooh wears pleather. Don't think he can afford the real stuff. Oh, got some blue on my hands. Let's make some shadows. Man, he's gonna look amazing when the black gets on there. Everything's going to really pop. Toughen up, never change, and always be yourself. You know, I like that, Matthew Phoenix. Uh, toughen up, never change, and always be yourself. That, you know what? I might need to make that like my channel slogan or motto. <sighs> I have like thinking, talking, doing on my on my channel but really like honestly my motto like i don't want to say it's my motto maybe it is maybe it's not but kind of like for my life is I, I read a quote years and years ago and it just it's always stuck with me and it says god doesn't give people talents that he does not want them to use i have that on my banner actually and I believe that with all my heart. It doesn't make sense that God would give us the ability to do something and not be able to do it. It's just sometimes it doesn't happen the way we think, right? And that's always the kind of the confusing part about life. God 
lets us walk through life never alone but you know we we kind of stumble and fall sometimes but he's there to help pick us up and most of the time it's we stumble and fall because we're not listening <laughs> we're not paying attention hmm. Hi, Miss Martin Muses. Welcome. We are doing another character crossover. We are doing Winnie the Pooh meets the Dark Knight himself. Two of some of my favorite characters. Batman, Batman. I don't know how how Winnie the Pooh would say I'm Batman. Like it, it, it would be so adorable and funny at the same time. Like I'm Batman <laughs> because it's so. Funny. Although, if you listen, I forget what his name is. That's a shame. I've been listening for like over 20 years. But the guy, I, I'm very particular about who reads my Winnie the Pooh novels. I only ever listen to the one guy. There's only ever one man for Tabitha when it comes to uh, many things. But when it comes to reading the books. And um, he actually reads Winnie the Pooh with a much gruffer voice. And it's actually very brilliant. So, uh. Have you seen the stuff R2 has put the salty nerd on? I, I've seen much of R2's work. R2, you know, aka Clips, I call him the Clippa. He uh, he has a gift. He, he makes people laugh. He's funny. He's uh, He and his family, they're good people. There's a parable about that. I'm maybe, what did I miss? What did I miss, Celebrity Jeremy? What's the parable? Um, how do you hammer... What? How do you hammer always being wrong into a talent? Maybe I should have been a blacksmith. Well, the thing is, if you are wrong and you learn that you're wrong, this gives you an opportunity to grow as a person and become right. Always evolving. All right, let's see. I gotta brighten this up a little bit more. It's gotta be some bright patches. This is really dark. Um, if like like, I I don't think I'm gonna quote it verbatim, but there's like basically this saying: if you always come to the table full, you'll never get to eat the meal. You know, big part of life is learning when to be humble about the knowledge that we have and being humble about the knowledge that we don't have. And that, honestly, that <laughs> real moment, real talk here, that can be difficult for me. I, I hate being wrong. It's not so much about me, and this is going to sound like it's the same thing, but I swear it's not. It's not so much that I like to be right. I mean, who doesn't like to be right? But it's really not so much that I like to be right. It's that I don't like to be wrong. And the difference for that, to me anyway, is that I don't... I don't like being wrong as far as I don't like having the wrong knowledge about something not versus, you know, I have to always be right. No, I just don't. I want to make sure that I'm not in a way not to use a buzzword here, but in a way not spread misinformation. Like, I don't want to be telling people that indigo is a compilation of these colors and then find out all along that I have gotten turquoise and indigo incorrectly. I mean, it's just, again, takes a little bit of humility to be like, oh, I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Oh, gosh, I feel like such an idiot. Versus, oh, okay, I'm a better person now because I learned, I learned something. It can be very difficult and, you know, that's why the Bible, I think that's one reason why the Bible says God's mercies are new every morning because... You know, it takes a while for us to change. It takes a while for our hard heads to really accept change and truth. And especially if we've grown up a certain way, believed something for a long time. Oh, there's a parable about that. God giving talents. Have you seen Brian Hull's The Disney Impressionist Take on Pooh? He did the whole 100 Acre Woods sing, Mr. Rogers, won't you be... Aw, Mr. Rogers, won't you be my neighbor? How sweet. I have not. Man, talk about a wholesome gift to the world, Mr. Rogers. Although, the, I'm not gonna lie, those puppets freaked me out. I did not like the puppets. 
It's good to want to be accurate. That's not the same as wanting to win arguments. That's just pride. Exactly. You're right. Exactly. I like to strive for accuracy. Um, that's why I, I'm much better written, like with the written word versus speaking. But like, you know, places like Twitter and stuff like that, I have to exercise a lot of personal grace. You know, because not everybody takes the English language language um, as seriously as I do when you're really trying to express a thought, especially if people are trying to argue some kind of commentary and they have no idea that all they're doing is spouting fallacies. And once you understand what fallacies are, it's a game changer. It is a game changer. I would tell people that my English teacher in college, she ruined me for normal conversations. Once we had a class on fallacies, and I was like, people are, after like after I <laughs> was in that class, because I mean, I was pretty good. My dad, my dad was really good about teaching us how to debate and not, not in a prideful way, but like, okay, if somebody's bringing you with this, how do you support your cause how how can you tell somebody why you believe what you believe feelings aside like ben shapiro says a great quote whether whatever you believe about him and however you like him facts don't care about your feelings this is a universal truth okay it's just truth whether you wish to acknowledge it or not is a personal decision but it is true that facts are facts and it doesn't matter how you feel and so after I had that class in English I'm like oh my gosh people are so stupid like now I have a name for it <laughs> they're not just stupid a lot of times it's just ignorance but people just don't know how to communicate with each other and we're so accustomed to emojis I myself in the same way I'm so guilty of it like if I'm writing something down and I want people to understand that I'm not I'm not trying to be mean. You know, you put that little little smiley face or the little tongue face dude out there just so people, you know, it takes a little bit of the brashness away from your conversation. <laughs> it's terrible. We all make mistakes, says memes. How we handle them is what defines us. This is so true. Absolutely. Humility is like a lost art. Lost art in our society anymore. So I don't know if this should go here or not. I think that... I don't know if that highlight should go there. I'm having fun with this character. The, the colors. Again, this is a first layer. So if he's looking a little bizarre. <laughs> what do you think, guys? What do you think? Is he looking okay? G give me a like. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you think he's looking pretty cool. All right, let's see. I'd like to get a really strong foundation on Pooh here um, before anything else. And so, I loved debate in school, enjoyed the art of it, and could win debates when I didn't even believe it, says Backyard Tardis. But it's no fun on Twitter because people take it way too seriously. Yes, they take it way too seriously, and they just, they cannot subside from their feelings. Like, subside their feelings. They can't do it. Um, and, and again, pride issue. People refuse to acknowledge. I, I've had to do it. It's not fun. I understand that. But people, oh man, uh, graciousness. You know how much respect we have for people these days? When they acknowledge that they were wrong. Man, I've seen people on Twitter do that. And it's beautiful. They will, they will admit Dude, I'm so sorry. Like, I had no idea this was the case. They were like, yeah. They're like, my apologies, my bad for, you know. It's exactly right. All right. I'm going to take this brush that has this blue in it and try to mix it here. I want, I thought it'd be cool if the gray also had some bluish, like some smoky undertones here. Get a sip of water. I'm gonna be shipping out my painting tomorrow, my 
Stargate Indiana Jones crossover. It's exciting. So exciting that people want to buy my artwork. Thank you so much, guys. Unless otherwise stated, all of my artwork from my live streams will be for sale. Just got to hit me up with an email. DreamingTabitha at gmail.com Should you ever find yourself interested in what I've got to bring to the table here, <laughs> art-wise. Okay. Oh. Uh, dude. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. Just look at it. Get it a little bit darker back here. You know, it's just fun to hang out and talk about things that we like. Sometimes things we don't like. Just sharing ideas. You know, we've got a lot going on in the world right now. And it's, it is nice when there's a place where you can just kind of hang out. Where everybody knows your name. <laughs> and they're always glad you came. This is the cheer stream. Oh my gosh. Is that, maybe I should title that. You want to go where everybody knows your name. Because we all pretty much know each other. In some form or fashion. Even if you don't, you can find some new people. You want to go where everybody knows your name. It's true. Just a place where you can belong. All right. I can't see. There's a glare of my light. I'm losing the definition. The Cheers bar was shut down last year. Oh my goodness. What for? Just not enough interest anymore? Is it like too old of a franchise for people to care and they, they couldn't keep it up? Or What in the heck, man? Uh, Backyard Tardis asks, so is Vitigger going to be a villain or Robin? Oh, that's a good question. I'm making him Batgirl. I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. Um, I'm leaving that a mystery. Yeah, we're not getting to Tigger tonight, but I wanted to leave that as a wee bit of a mystery to be revealed soon. Nice little cliffhanger there. Okay. Just do some easy swipes here. Back this way. The first layer. <laughs> that girl. Well, it's 2022. That tracks. Right. Yeah. Pandemic, I reckon, says memes. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt it, you know. And and again, it is an older franchise. You know, and so it's possible that it's just not bringing in the money. Like they used to, and then you know, with the branch, uh, with the pandemic coming and hurting a lot of you know companies and businesses. Yeah, I could see that. Wait, wait a second. Was this part of his arm? Shoot fire! What did I do? I think I messed up. Is what I did. Let's have a look. This way. Come in. Don't make Tigger Commissioner Gordon. Wouldn't that be awful? <laughs> Man, I tell you what, Tigger and the books is kind of annoying. Like, for real. Not even... Not even joking. He's cute, though, but he's just, like, one of those characters that thinks he just knows everything. He comes to the forest... And uh, they're trying to figure out what Tiggers eat. And he's like, Tiggers eat everything. So they're like, okay. So they take him to Eeyore's. And Eeyore gives him a thistle. And 
Tigger's like, what? In, basically, what in tarnation is this? Like, I, I don't like this. And they're like, I thought you eat everything. And they're, he's like, no, everything but thistles. Tiggers don't like thistles. So then Eeyore gets upset. And he's like, I, I gave you my best thistle, man. Like, why you gotta be like that? Ungrateful wretch. And then, like, the honey. I can't remember. Uh, the newer, or I say the newer, but the the volume three is newer to me. I didn't even know there was a volume three until I got into like a like last year. So those stories are still f new to me. All right, I'm I'm something wrong here. I got it. I'm losing something here. Aha! I think I found it. Yeah, there we go. Tigger is the Joker. I mean, he's got the laugh and everything. Who, 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 who's gonna catch me? <laughs> Here we go. Do, do. Now, some of these these images too, like if anybody's interested in, like I I think I myself am gonna get one for myself because I was really proud of the Indiana Jones crossover thing. I know a lot of people liked it. And so if anybody's interested, it's never the same to have the uh, the original. Am I right? The original is always the best thing to have. But I was thinking about making some prints available if anybody's interested in. I was like, all right, since I can't have the original anymore. And like I told you guys, it kind of breaks my heart <laughs> in a way. Hey, I'm I'm so grateful for the person that decided to buy it. That means the world to me. Don't get me wrong. That, man, I can't tell you what that means to an artist when somebody's like, can I buy this? But I was thinking of making a couple of prints for just like short term. Like I wouldn't have them up for a while, for a long time, but... If anybody liked that and you guys want to share in, because, you know, again, the community helped out with that. Might get that taken care of. Might put them on my Etsy for a little while. Okay, he still needs some work. He's coming along. He's getting there. Sir Poo over here. Share that Stargate love, says Backyard Tardis. That's right. Hello, Anonymous. Looking good, he says. Thank you. Yeah. There's a moment in the in the Winnie the Pooh books where they open it up and Christopher Robin and Pooh are talking. Well, actually, it's somebody, you know, reading the story to Christopher Robin or telling a story to Christopher Robin. And so it opens up and they're like, you know, there once was, you know, Piglet. He was at his house and he was, you know, living under the name Saunders. And Christopher Robin interrupts and says, what does under the name mean? And the narrator, storyteller's like, well, it means that he had a name over top of his house and he lived under it. <laughs> Pretty simple explanation. I'm going to laugh if Bat Poo... <laughs> Celebrity Jeremy says, I'm going to laugh if Bat Poo ends up looking totally jacked. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to like carve like a six pack right here. <laughs> I can't see it. Just right there. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look horrible. I'm not going to do that though. Oh, shoot. I got the wrong color. I got blue. That's okay. He's looking pretty cool, though. Man, like, man, he's gonna look 
So I can't imagine what he's going to look like with all the details, all the highlights and shadows, the push, push and pull of all the colors. And this is said and done. Black and white is kind of difficult to, to do, especially with this lamp black, man. It's just like so dark. I had debated what exactly I would do within the symbol here. Because... I'm like, do I want it? So I saw some people, I looked online for some references just to see if other people had done something similar. And there were a few. And um, they did the Batman symbol. Somebody did a honey pie. Somebody did a W. And I was like, I just don't, I just don't really like, like that. I just don't really like that. So I decided to stick with the bat symbol. That was cute. Let me see. Let me find some different music here. Some chill music to kind of bring things down a little bit. See if this is music I want. I don't think this is music I want. But welcome to anybody who might be new and just kind of lurking and chilling in the chat. We are just having a good time making fun of Winnie the Bat, the Bat Poo, whatever, <laughs> whatever name you would give him. He's looking pretty cool, I've got to say. Music is super soft right now, but it's coming. Like anytime, I feel like Genie sometimes. Like that's a quote I use a lot. You know when he goes to Aladdin, and he's like, "This is the part where you wish me free." Anytime now. That's how I feel with this music. I'm like, "Where is it? Any anytime now." <laughs> Any minute now. Well, we just go for something else then. Fine, be that way. So would Bat Poo be voiced by Chris by the Rock, Chris Pratt, or Chris Rock? Uh I think it'd be fantastic, honestly, if he would be voiced by Jeremy Irons. I think that would be kind of funny. I think having Scar be Batman slash Winnie the Pooh would be great. You know, take it to this like serious note. Okay, so I've lost a lot of definition in here, that's for sure. So let's just go straight into that black. Put some creases here. I don't want to lose that. I know you can't, can't, probably can't see that. It's there, I promise. It'll all come out, come out in the wash. I swears on the precious. Or Idris Elba, as he's the other one that's been voicing a lot of characters. Or Morgan Freeman would be the most soothing. Uh, Morgan Freeman as Winnie the Pooh? Oh, you know, I'd be okay with that. I just kind of heard it in my head. That would be great. It would... It would be so unexpected. Kind of like Chris Pat doing Mario. Right? But I... It doesn't seem, guys, like... I don't know if you guys are excited about this Mario movie. I think it looks fantastic. But I don't hear Chris Pratt doing uh, the stereotypical, you know, Italian... Iconic, legendary accent. Like, what's that all about? Like, dude, we want the accent. I don't understand why they would make such a weird decision not to incorporate that. I think it's a foolish decision. Personally. That, that, but that is just me. That is just me. 
It looks amazing. Thank you. Like I said, there there is some definition here. If it's not visible in your camera, um, I swear there's there's a belly and there's an arm over here. It's just it's kind of hard to see at the moment. That lamp black though, just so powerful. Put some highlights over here. Just a little touch over there. <laughs> no, he's not, but Mario had a very different voice for most of my childhood. Okay, I don't know what that means, and I apologize. I don't know if Morgan Freeman voicing Bat Poo would be as controversial as Chris Pratt voicing Mario. That's almost a jihad at this point. Okay, I want to take this, go ahead and do this here. <clears throat> like I said, right now we're just going to, tonight we're just putting a foundation down. And, uh, and then we'll put some details in later on. I never really want to rush my projects. This will be a, such a fun painting. I think this would, you know, again, I realize most everybody watching are, are dudes, but this would make such a fun nursery, right? Winnie the Pooh with like whatever franchise you want. Here we're making, <laughs> making Batman. So, like, whenever my family gets together with some, like, friends and stuff like that, and we we play Pictionary. You guys ever seen The Big Bang Theory, right? Okay. Love that show. And <laughs> there's the one episode where Amy Farrah Fowler and Penny are playing against Sheldon and Leonard, and they're playing Pictionary. And every time we get together with our family and friends, because of this one episode... I always say, if you guys know, you know. <laughs> I always, I have to. It's like I, I just, I can't help myself. Every first round, I have to. When somebody's drawing, and I have to guess, I'm like Batman, Batman and Robin, <laughs> because if you know, you know. I think I made his leg maybe a little too thick. I'll figure that out. I mean, they've got to be pretty thick, right? I mean, he's like wandering. Wandering the city, gotta keep up with the bad, bad folk. You gotta keep up with the woozles. You know, those gangster woozles out there. <clears throat> if you guys don't know, there's also whizzles. Indeed, there are whizzles. These are smaller than woozles. And, you know, heffalumps are much bigger than woozles. But unlike Sonic, who has a new voice actor about every five years, it's hard to compare, but I was upset that they don't use the game voice at first, but now I love it. The two Mario cartoons had a very different Mario voice years before they gave him a voice back in Mario 64. Oh, Mario 64! I love that game! Oh my gosh, it was my favorite for so long, besides that and pod racing on the N64. Mario was voiced by Lou Albano. The wrestler when i was a kid my wife hates all comic and sci-fi stuff and big bang theory brought us a lot closer you know see but nerd stuff bringing couples together yeah it's not for everybody but i loved it man i learned so much i even learned a lot of science from that show like it was just it was good you know what i think is so funny about that show is the fact that Sheldon was the most beloved character, right? Okay. 
Although Amy is my favorite character. But anyway, Sheldon is like the star of that show, right? And I just, I, I knew, grew up years ago when that show was first coming out, starting to get popular. You know, I, I was around a lot of people. I want to say they were my friends. They were at the time, but they were, I don't want to use that buzzword, but they were not, I don't want to use toxic. They weren't the best kind of friends that a person could have, right? Immature. We're just going to go with immature. And they did pick on me a lot about my likes and dislikes. And I did like nerd stuff. And I didn't I didn't know I was being weird. Like, they were the ones that were weird to me. I'd never met people that didn't know what Star Wars was and stuff. Anyway. I got made fun of a lot. But anyway, we... <laughs> for some reason we all just kind of not all but a lot of them developed this love for Big Bang Theory and for Sheldon and I'm like you know what okay that's not even real it's not even funny anymore the fact that you think Sheldon's so hilarious and great I'm the weird one but also it's the fact that with like with people they don't realize that Sheldon or they maybe they do and they just ignore it but like come on now we all know that if Sheldon was really in our life, we would hate him. We would hate his guts. <laughs> we so would. Oh my gosh, what an annoying person to have around all the time. When you watch Big Bang Theory, says Backyard Tardis, they talk about something you didn't know. It immediately takes you to want to expand your nerd up. Yeah, exactly. You know, like Battlestar Galactica and things like that. Um... It's just, or, or like when, oh my gosh, it's just going to kill everybody. But like when Amy drops that bomb about, um, the last, was it the last crusade? No, Raiders of the Lost Ark, right? That was rough. I've actually know people that are like, I don't want to think about it. Don't talk about it. <laughs> okay. Like she's not wrong. They're like, I don't care. I don't want to talk about it. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I own a pygmy goat herd, and we named them all after the Big Bang Theory cast. That's so cool. Queen Penelope, uh, was it Queen Penelope, AFK. Can confirm, I relate to Sheldon, and people do not like to be around me. Yeah, um, my brother had, like, some Sheldonish tendencies. Nowhere near the characters, but, like, he was, he, my brother... Like myself, despite my sparkling personality, we struggle with some social anxieties, and we are introverted. We're, we're different levels of, of introvertness, but my brother, you know, would not really engage in conversation, or my brother knows a lot about so many different things, and people just couldn't understand him. Or he was, he was interested in a lot of things, but, like, he wasn't interested in popular things or he or like Sheldon right remember like he knows a lot he knew everything about football but he, football didn't interest him same thing with my brother my brother couldn't care two farthings about football but my brother knows how the game plays he knows how it how it works and people just found that so peculiar because he didn't fit in with the jocks and stuff even though my brother knew all the information and um, people found him interesting and annoying all at the same time it is rough being a nerd it's rough you know people don't get you you know he knew he and i both know like a lot of science facts he knows way more than i do he's a very intelligent man but when <laughs> And he wasn't trying to be rude. You know, my brother's kind of like me in that we want to be accurate, right? And when we correct people, it's honestly, it's not because we're trying to be better than other people. It's because like, oh, hey, let me help you. You don't know that that's the incorrect answer. Like, I don't like my friends and everybody looking foolish or stupid or ignorant. So I let them know. Oh, sorry. Hey, that's, that's not actually true. And I will admit that we probably didn't have the best tact for that. Like, it's not okay to, like, midway conversation when someone's telling a story to be like, hey, that, that's actually not true. People don't like that. <laughs> we had to learn that, you know, social skills, you know. But, um, but, 
yeah so we would just like you know somebody would try to be all this that and the third you know just thought they were the bee's knees right and my brother would be like it's not actually true you know science tells us or actually in history or if you would read the blah 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 and these people just get so mad at him because they he wasn't trying to make them look like idiots but a lot of <laughs> spouting off stuff and they're like not even like what are you talking about that's not true at all what are you talking about what you talking about willis bad part is when you make a nerd angry you know or a geek angry man that it can get pretty bad because then that's when when the viciousness starts because they do no more and their weapon is their knowledge and they have to really curb and really pray about humility there because it's easy to get self-righteous and and want to hurt those people by pointing out their ignorance and sometimes their stupidity and uh, i will admit i've had those moments i've been there you know but we, we mature we grow we change it was hard you know when people pick on you all the time just for knowing things and they don't know things <laughs> It's kind of hard not to be a little self-righteous. Really, like, you guys are stupid. What are you doing? <laughs> Dread Saber Phil says the only episode that stays with me is the one where Sheldon's Warcraft account was hacked and the guy grabbed the batleth out of his hand and Penny could. Th yeah, that was a good one. When she was just like, "Okay, I'll tell you how to handle bullies." I see myself as Leonard. Being wrong is hard on the ego. It it, it absolutely is, you know. I, I get it. That's why I'm saying, like, it's... And then that just only fuels a fire. I mean, the Bible talks about leave off contention before it be meddled with. And with an angry man, thou shalt not go. And, and, and how important words are, right? And so, it, it's... I understand, like, I totally understand when people want to prove their point to ignorant people. But it really doesn't hurt or help the cause. It, it makes things worse. You make enemies and you end up looking like a douchebag, really. We're in this generation, this era of proving people wrong to get brownie points. And I, I get it. Look, I'm not, I'll be the first again to admit I've been there. Still am sometimes. We're all human. It's, it's not actually healthy. We're supposed to be helping our, our fellow man, helping our fellow Americans, our countrymen. And um, sometimes it's really hard. It's really, really hard. Okay. What color is Pooh's nose? Is it is it brown or is it black? It's black. Okay. We're switching brushes. I think, guys, that when I get his nose taken care of, I think that might be, um, when I call it a night. Oh my gosh, it's tomorrow. Shoot fire. I have my friend that I need to hang out with, um, that I get to hang out with. And the music's already over. What in the freak? Where did the time go, guys? Man. Well, well I accomplished most of what I wanted to do tonight. I wanted to get the foundation for poo taken care of and except for his bat his bat except for his belt and the bat symbol we did do that thank you so much for hanging out with me guys so much fun oh gotta get this nose okay i think i've messed up the shape of his nose oh that's so important and <laughs> my arm's getting covered in paint Focus Leonard. That's another thing that I say a lot. Focus Leonard. I say that all the time. I would say that to the kids I would watch. They're like, my name's not Leonard. Like, it doesn't matter. You're Leonard right now. <laughs> right. right now you're Leonard. Okay. Let's get a little bit of white. Push that in there. Mm. Get some more. But yeah, if you haven't hit the like button, please do that for me. If you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. 
Subscribe if you're new here, if you like what's going on. I don't have a regular schedule for painting at the moment. All I can tell you is they're pretty much always late night streams. Just kind of late night and chill. And uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. What do you guys think? What do you think so far? Did we, did we make something really cool? Is he looking pretty ominous? Is he looking heroic? Um, look what I've done here. I gotta be extra careful. I don't get that all over me. But, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and save the belt and everything for later. But I think we have, we have a good foundation for our, our Winnie the Bat. I like that name. Winnie the Bat. Um, it's gonna be so cool bringing everything together, getting... The mystery character of Tigger, the mystery identity of Tigger taken care of. It's going to be a beautiful contrast with everything that's going on over here. But not to derail, but my cat Rascal, says Judge Saber Phil, is licking the wall like he wants to run from prison. <laughs> Good stream. Looking forward to seeing the end result. Peace out. Hey, Cam. And very cool. Thank you guys so much again for being here again. Hit that like if you haven't, and um, I've meant to take this off, but you can buy um, some of my chibi characters that I design on my Etsy shop. And if you're interested in having um, some prints of my Stargate Indiana Jones crossover, just keep an eye on my Etsy shop. In fact, you can go there and um, basically like heart or like the shop. You, know, you should get notifications anytime I add something new to the shop. So if that's something you're interested in, you can go ahead and do that over there. That way you won't miss it because I'm only going to have it up there for a limited time, probably just a couple of weeks whenever I get that taken care of, which will probably be in the next couple of days. And uh, all that in a bag of chips. And um, yeah, if you want to support the channel, there's other ways you can look in the description box down below. But until we meet again, guys, again, thank you so much for being here. Had fun hanging out. I wish you all a fantastic rest of the, the morning. <laughs> and a great, great Friday tomorrow, okay? Bye, guys.